Welcome to a new video. Today we're diving into the topic of understanding joint pain, causes, symptoms, and remedies. Joint pain can affect anyone at any age, and it's crucial to comprehend its triggers, signs, and potential solutions. This understanding can empower us to take proactive steps towards maintaining our health. In this video, we'll explore these three aspects in detail, providing you with a comprehensive overview based on reliable scientific research. Let's begin with the causes of joint pain. Knowledge is power after all. So what causes joint pain? Let's explore. Joint pain can be triggered by a myriad of factors, with the most common being arthritis. Arthritis is an umbrella term for over a hundred conditions that cause inflammation in the joints. This inflammation leads to pain and stiffness, which can be debilitating for some. Rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis are the two most prevalent forms of arthritis, each with its unique causes and symptoms. Moving on, injuries are another common cause of joint pain. Whether it's an acute injury from a fall or sports mishap, or a chronic injury due to repetitive motion or overuse, the result can be persistent discomfort in the affected joint. Sprains, strains, and fractures can all lead to joint pain, emphasizing the importance of safety and proper technique in physical activities. Diseases such as lupus and gout can also lead to joint pain. Lupus is an autoimmune disease that can cause inflammation in various parts of the body, including the joints. Gout, on the other hand, is a form of arthritis caused by an excess of uric acid in the bloodstream. This surplus acid forms crystals in the joints, resulting in sharp, often excruciating pain. Aging is, unfortunately, another leading cause of joint pain. As we age, our cartilage, the tissue that cushions our joints, wears down. This wear and tear can lead to osteoarthritis and joint pain. But remember, joint pain isn't exclusive to the elderly. It can affect people at any age, even children. Lastly, we can't overlook the role of obesity in joint pain. Carrying extra weight puts added pressure on weight-bearing joints like the knees and hips. This increased load can accelerate the wear and tear process and exacerbate pain and inflammation. Now that we have an understanding of the causes, let's move on to the symptoms of joint pain. What are the signs that you might be experiencing joint pain? Let's find out. One of the most common symptoms of joint pain is discomfort. This isn't your everyday ache or soreness from a long day on your feet. We're talking about a persistent, nagging discomfort that doesn't seem to go away, even with rest. Inflammation is another telltale symptom. This is your body's response to injury or disease. Inflamed joints might appear swollen, and this can often be accompanied by tenderness to touch. Along with inflammation, redness is another common sign. This isn't just a blush of color, but a noticeable change in the skin's hue over the affected joint. Warmth is another symptom to watch out for. The skin over the inflamed joint may feel warmer than the surrounding skin. This is a result of increased blood flow to the area as your body tries to heal itself. Limited range of motion is a symptom that can significantly affect your quality of life. You might find it difficult to move the affected joint as freely as you could before. This can make everyday tasks, like opening a jar or walking upstairs, a challenge. Remember, symptoms can vary depending on the cause and severity of the joint pain. It could be a mild annoyance or a debilitating condition. The key is to listen to your body and seek medical advice if you're concerned. Knowing the symptoms is crucial, but what can we do about joint pain? That brings us to our next topic, remedies. So what can we do to alleviate joint pain? Let's discuss some remedies. Firstly, over-the-counter medications, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, can provide short-term relief from joint pain. They work by reducing inflammation and blocking the transmission of pain signals to the brain. However, their long-term use could lead to side effects, including stomach ulcers and kidney damage. Hence, it's crucial to use them under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Physical therapy is another effective remedy. By strengthening the muscles around the joints, it can reduce the load on the joint and alleviate pain. Physical therapists can guide you through exercises that are safe and beneficial for your specific condition. Lifestyle changes, including diet and exercise, can also make a significant difference. Regular physical activity strengthens your muscles, improves flexibility, and promotes joint health. Meanwhile, a balanced diet rich in anti-inflammatory foods like fish, berries, and leafy greens can help manage inflammation and support joint health. In severe cases, surgery might be recommended to repair or replace the damaged joint. This is usually considered as a last resort when other treatments have failed to provide relief. It's important to remember that while these remedies can help manage joint pain, they don't address the underlying cause. 
Therefore, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional for a comprehensive diagnosis and personalized treatment plan. Remember, these remedies can help, but they are not a substitute for professional medical advice. So, we've learned about the causes, symptoms, and remedies for joint pain, from the various triggers such as injury or arthritis, to the discomfort and inflammation that signals its presence, and finally, the diverse remedies from lifestyle changes to medical treatments. It's crucial to understand these aspects, but also to seek personalized advice from healthcare professionals. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and comment your thoughts below. And remember, this video does not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare professional for any health concerns. Thanks for watching.